I haven't seen one of those in a while. I used to put those things all over the place on arcade games back in the 90s. What's going on, everybody? Your host, AMF1534, here. Welcome to Let's Play Devil's Dare, and Happy Halloween. <laughs> It's a little bit more of a fitting uh, Halloween-themed Let's Play series than San Francisco Rush, I would say. And speaking of uh, 90s, there are 90s references all over the place in this game. I saw the cinematic trailer for this about a week ago on Steam, and as soon as I saw it, I just had to get my hands on it. This game looks fucking awesome. It's an arcade-style uh, beat-em-up game, very similar to um, Turtles in Time, but it's got some very interesting, cool elements in it that I am really excited to get down on, so I'm not going to sit here and waste anybody's time. Let's get down to business. Unfortunately, I can't use my uh, my 360 controller on this, so we got to play with the keyboard, but I imagine it's probably not going to be too difficult to figure out, so let's jump into it. Benny Arcade Expo 20XX. We already got a Mega Man reference here, like the whole thing. Oh, it's Bax. It's supposed to be like Pax. I see what's going on. One of the world's biggest video game events that I've never been to and need to do that at some point. Yeah, dude, this is totally Mega Man. This is funny. Hey, welcome to Bite Jacker, the review show for gamers with short attention spans and fast connections. I'm Anthony, and after two years of waiting, I'm proud to announce that we are finally... What the hell?! How is this happening again? Wait a minute, this has already happened once? When the hell did this happen once? And why are you filming this on the roof of a building? Oh dear god, here they come. Oh my god! This thing's being overrun by nerds and fat overweight people and dudes with no limbs. And just like that, the world went from bad to a total shitstorm. Awesome with the uses of shitstorm, by the way. I love that term. It's hilarious. Man, this is so tight. <laughs> I love every part of this so far. Man, these zombie cosplayers look really good. I mean, look at that guy. No arms. That's cute and all, but I swear if he comes any closer, I'm going to kick him in the nuts Johnny Cage style. Wait a minute. Didn't Johnny Cage do the splits and then punch Goro in the nuts? He didn't kick him. You little fucker, you. Um, I think when one guy starts to eat another, it's rather safe to assume that these are actual zombies. These adults are hopeless. I don't know why his voice is like that, but it just was. Hey, listen! I'm Ivan, the Red Fairy. There's Red Fairies now, apparently. Now, if you want to survive this horror, you'll need powers to fight back. And I'm here to give you just that. In return, I expect to keep the souls of all the zombies you killed. Oh, dude, he's gonna be such a dick later on. I can just... I can detect it now. What for? Well, to save them, of course. And by save them, I mean I'm going to convert them into something to totally fuck you over later, but that's for a different that's for a different time. Now if you have no more questions, let the game begin. Boy, that was a really cool segue into the character select screen. Alright, so we got Kingston with the golden mop axe, Queenie with the magic dog tech, Axel with the master's sword pipe and garbage can shield. And Jackson with the Twin Wrench Sigh, which is fucking awesome. I mean, this kid is 90s right here. He's got he's got the Doug Funny shoes with the backwards snapback hat, uh, tank top, and cargo shorts. Yeah, dude, this, with the hair coming out the front, I'm totally Let's picking this kid. Do. This kid's the fucking shit. Let's go. Let's go indeed. Heaven or hell, let's rock at the convention. That's a Sonic. That's the Sonic the Hedgehog reference right there, with the the fucking the thing. You know what I'm talking about. I don't have to explain myself. Okay, this is all right. This is awesome. It's actually controls really well considering I'm only using one button so far. Another thing too, this music is really cool. I, I like this. This is really turning out well so far. All right, let's see what this tutorial's all about. I figure that's probably gonna be a good idea. <laughs> hey, listen! Okay, seems easy enough. Whoa, God, okay, I didn't expect him to explode. Finish him! I love the Mortal Kombat reference there. Man, this is awesome. I really like the graphics here. I love the complete retro style they got going on here, which is, I mean, about as 90s as you could possibly get. Hey, listen again! Alright, so we're doing special moves now. Awesome. <laughs> Go 
cool. Oh my god! Alright, I didn't expect that. Let's see if we can do... Okay. No! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That was the wrong button. Let's try that with a special. Ty! Oh my god. These guys are getting totally worked right now, and it's great. Success! Man, I love the fact that their bodies just rip in half, and like even the inactive people over here, like this guy's head is turned the wrong way. This guy's foot is just a bone, just an exposed bone. This guy's entire innards and lower part of his body are just gone. Man, I love... I, I'm like just oozing over this right now. Okay, we're gonna... Ooh, this ought to be interesting. Oh, boy! Man, this is so awesome. I can't even, like, wrap my head around the awesomeness that's ensuing right now. So, it looks like our, you know, our special bar overheated there. Watch your back. I love his little, his little one-liners. Watch your back. I can't wait to hear what he comes up with next. What are these blue things that we're picking up? They look like... They look like either, like, weird modified Lego pieces, or maybe, like, backpacks or something. Success! See, like, I don't know what the hell those things are. They're just... They're something. Also, I love the way that the enemies spawn in this game, coming out of those coffins in the ground. It's really cool. Hey, listen! Hey, listen. Special kill three or more monsters with a single strike to perform a massacre. And you'll be rewarded with some food. Which is good, I imagine. Oh, nope, that's not what I meant. Come on. Stop overheating and let's figure this shit out. <coughs> ah. Money makes the world go round. Money makes the world go round. It actually does. I mean, everything in this world does uh, does revolve around money. Boom! It revolves around money and sex because that's something that we totally learned from uh, the blast from the past movie. Everything about the world is sex. Money just Ha ha ha! I like it. I like it. I, I'm really, really hoping that there's going to be some uh, Turtles in Time references going on here. It'd be, like, extra fitting just because we have the kid that's totally like Raphael right now. Alright, stage select, huh? Sewer, train, hallway, or the road? Well, let's see. Oh, that's, that's Castlevania all the fucking way. That's really cool. I like it. I was going to say train, maybe Goldeneye, but probably not. That's maybe a little bit too modern for its own good. Let's do let's do the hallway. Let's do the Castlevania hallway. I'm down with it. Heaven or hell, let's rock in the hallway. Night one. Oh, boy. All right, this is pretty wild already. I know, I know it's not... I know it's not really considered retro, but this already is giving me kind of like a Shovel Knight feel. And that's very broad, just because I'm seeing knights, and so automatically that's where I'm going with it. I like the uh, the spring-loaded boxes we have here. Oh, oh, ah, ah! Oh my god. It's actually quite challenging already, I mean... I would imagine this game is probably a little bit more directed around having more than one person playing. But, eh, you never know. You never fucking know. Whoa! Jesus. Alright, we need to be careful with those. <laughs> Look at this frumpy-ass girl back here, just... Yeah, my head's all sideways. Whee! And... Double fatality. Or just single fatality, never mind. Give me that. Oh, I was going for that massacre. But I can still get it. Hey! Oh, I guess not. I went for it, though. I was I was hoping for the best there. You know, you know what the really ironic thing about this game is? You would think... You would think in a situation like this, like, the people that would be the... Oh, no, you don't. You may be a cute-looking zombie dog, but don't... Don't think for a fucking second that I won't 
rend your already rotting flesh off of your bones. I will fucking do it. You, you would... God damn it. You would think the people that would be the most geared to be able to deal with a zombie invasion would be people... Would be like nerdy people that you would find at a video game convention like this. <laughs> and it's just ironic because... I don't feel like... I don't feel like, uh... Even, like, even the people that would be technically the most suited for this, just, like, from their raw knowledge of, you know, like, movie references and shit about zombies and whatnot, and, and games and, and whatever, you would think that gamers and nerds would have, like, the most knowledge of what to do, but they would be also, like, the most timid and, like, the least likely to actually take action in a situation like this. I just think it's kind of funny. Like, I, truthfully, if we ever were, if there was ever a real zombie invasion, I don't feel like anybody would know how to react to it. It would just be, it would be absolute chaos ensuing, and nobody would know what the hell to do. Like, everybody would be like, oh. Like, I see it on Twitter all the time, you always get people that think, oh, well, if there's a zombie invasion, I'll be, I'll just fucking kick everybody's ass. And it's like, no, you wouldn't. If you actually saw a zombie, like, pop out right in front of you, you wouldn't have two squirts of piss as far as knowing what the hell you'd be doing. You'd be just as lost as the, re as the rest of us because you'd be fucking freaking out. And that's totally okay. Like, you don't need to try to, you know, try to install your badassery all over the place. I, by the way, I apologize if the sound effects are really, really loud in here. That's so gross! Oh my god, I didn't notice until like, a second ago what's actually going on. She's shooting zombie baby fetuses at us. That's disgusting. Pregnancy from the damned. Ugh. She kind of like sounded like a zombified Sonya Blade there. Combo. Get that mania combo going on there. But yeah, I, I don't know. I just I think that people get a little bit crazy when they think of, oh my 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 zombie survival skills are off the charts just because I play games or I've seen monster movies. It's like you would be fucking freaking your shit out all over the place, just as would the rest of the people. I, I mean, if if I saw a zombie just pop up in my room or anywhere for that matter, I don't think my first instinct would be grab a gun. I would either just totally freak out and just start running away and uh, hope to god that I just didn't die, or I would probably just be so shocked that I'm actually seeing a zombie that I'd probably die. I would probably get converted into a zombie. I would go right ahead and admit that. Uh-oh. What the hell is this? Oh my god. Mr. X, huh? Oh boy, I don't like this at all. That is a big, big man. And I just wasted a special move on that. Oh my god! I apologize if that's really loud. There we go. This guy, I don't, I don't know what's up with this whole like weird like ice skating shoes thing going on right now, but I guess that's a thing. Alright, so one thing I just noticed, we cannot afford to die here. Because if we die, we're not going to be able to revive ourselves. We apparently have to have a thousand dollars to be able to do that. So, we need to be careful. Oh my god! That is an extremely loud noise. Hasta la vista! Half of my head is just missing completely! Oh god, oh boy, oh boy, that, that got kind of ugly there for a second. God, that is really loud. <laughs> I apologize. I did not expect that to be as loud as it is. Oh, here we go, yeah. Wail on him, baby! Wail on him! We're getting that God of War type of combo going on right now. Oh shit, okay, he... oh no. He's going, he's enraging. 
This isn't good. Or maybe it is, I don't know. I'm intrigued to see what he does now. <laughs> it's like those posts on Facebook. What happened? Or it's like those top ten lists, like, top ten things that would... Oh, no. Top ten things that you would never do to your girlfriend. Number ten was the craziest one. Or like the... This guy broke up with his girlfriend. What happened next was incredible. I hate those things. They're so annoying and they're so stupid. Come on. Come on. Finish him! Oh, no, no. Oh, no! Okay, we're alive. Oh, my God. I was like, you... Be, you gotta be fucking kidding me. We kill the boss and we get killed by the little stragglers at the end. At least we lived. Oh, <laughs> 75 hits. I thought that said seven shits. <laughs> Nothing like that. <laughs> that seven shits combo. Can't forget about that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Man, that was awesome. Dive kick? What's this all about? You better believe I'm buying that shit. Let's do it. Dive through the monsters, hitting multiple monsters at one go. Fuck yeah, I'm totally doing that. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, well, we have run out of time for this particular episode, but when we come back on the next installment, we are going to take on another level. We're either going to do the sewer, the train, or the road. We'll probably have to do like a, like a coin flip for that, but we'll see what happens. So, until then, my friends, this has been your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Man, this game's fucking awesome. Happy Halloween, by the way. Just happy fucking Halloween. <laughs>